G'day. In this hay safety video today, we're going to be covering off on the delivery, unloading and stacking of hay at your site. We hope this is beneficial to your team and yourself. This video is designed to cultivate discussions within your team and family to help keep everyone safe. In this video, we're covering off on communication, load safety, load checking and exclusion zones, safe unloading, stacking and storing of hay. Safety starts with pre-arrival communication. It starts before it arrives at your place. There are key pieces of communication that make the process smoother and safer. Before the truck driver arrives on site, they need to ensure they have been given clear instructions. Ideally, the driver needs to know where to go, where to park, who's their point of contact, and any specific site instructions. By having this information communicated, they can proceed to make a smooth arrival. Without having this communication, the truck could end up in the wrong spot at your place, therefore putting others in danger. When the driver is arriving on site, they need to adhere to all site and health and safety requirements. The driver may have been informed about these in their pre-arrival communication or at time of arrival. It's important that the driver is on the lookout for the visual cues as they enter the site. These could include speed and directional signage. If the driver is not adhering to your site requirements, this is your time to chat to them and correct the action. It's okay to do this. By doing this, it helps keep everyone safe. Not every place is the same. When the driver pulls up at the appropriate spot for unloading, ideally on level ground, you'll need to consider the location and the positioning of the truck. An exclusion zone and high risk zone must be considered when positioning the truck for unloading. Clear communication around the plan for unloading the hay should be exchanged between you and the truck driver. This is the start of unloading the hay truck safely. Before the truck driver gets out of the cab, they must assess the situation. Is it safe for them to get out of the cab? If it is safe, it is critical they stay close to the front of the truck. This is not the time to go wandering off. If the receiver or unloader of the hay delivery is not present and the truck driver needs to find someone, it's best to call or use a UHF to contact them, rather than roaming around the property. If the truck driver isn't adhering to these safety instructions, it's okay to say something. Speaking up prevents accidents. Before the unloading process begins, an exclusion zone and high risk zone should be created. The exclusion zone should cover the entire unloading area in which machinery will be operated. The exclusion zone should be marked out with safety cones. This zone may alter depending on the site requirements. The high risk zone should cover the area that exposes people or machinery to the serious danger of falling bales. This zone never changes. The risk of bales being pushed and falling from the opposite side of the unloading is extremely high. That's why all people should steer clear of this zone during the unloading process. A well-loaded truck carting strong, stable bales, appropriately strapped, helps ensure the load remains safe to unload. Before unloading, it's important to walk around the trailer and check the bales and load are still secure and safe. If the bales are not secure and safe before straps are released, it can cause the bales to fall. It is always recommended when receiving hay that moisture testing is conducted with a quality moisture meter. It is best practice to moisture test all bales. It's important you use a well-maintained moisture meter so that your readings are accurate. This is a vital step in protecting your storage area from hay fires caused by combustion. When moisture testing, you're looking for a reading no higher than 18%. If a high moisture bale is detected, it should be segregated from the storage area. If you are confident the load is secure, the straps can start to be undone. It is best practice to undo the straps and roll them up after the load is unloaded. Do not roll them up now. It's time for all people to move out of the way, exit the high risk zone and start the unloading process. The only person that may remain within the exclusion zone is the truck driver, in one or two areas only, in their truck cab or standing at the front corner of their truck on the same side of the unloading. This is to ensure the machinery operator can see or know where they are at all times. Today we're using the MANA 2 MLTX841. This machine has a maximum lift capacity of 4.1 tonne and a max lift height of 7.6 metres. With 360 degree visibility, you'll be able to see everything going on around you. We're also using the Active Boom Suspension CRC to help safely unload these bales. It's best to check over the machine before you start operating it. 
Here's a few simple things to check before you get started. Tire pressures, cleanliness of your windows for visual safety, fuel level, and the safety light is operational. Regardless of what machine you're using, it's important to ensure your machinery is kept in good order. You'll also want to ensure your hay forks are tightly fitted and ready for safe action. The machinery operator unloading this load is working within the exclusion zone at all times. Therefore, they need to be alert and watching out for potential risks. As they move the hay into the shed, we have a simple trick for getting the stack right. If you can get the bales right on the hay forks before they're moved into the hay stack, it'll make your life a lot easier. You'll see here the operator getting the bales on the hay forks perfectly aligned before it's moved into the hay stack. Therefore, the hay stack stays neat and stable. It's important you ensure you are not going past the safety height of your hay fork frame. If you overstack your hay forks, there is a potential risk of bales falling back onto the cab and operator. Stacking hay in a shed can have many obstacles, including shed beams, other haystacks, power lines, machinery and other items. It's important to have a clear entry and access path to where you are stacking. Stored hay can be extremely dangerous and life-threatening, if not done right. It is not uncommon for Feed Central to hear of people having serious injuries or losing a loved one due to falling hay bales from unstable stacks. It's important to get the stack right from the start and from the bottom up. Remember, you're building a haystack that needs to last the test of time. The floor and surface of the area where you are building your stack must be taken into account. Ask yourself, is the ground level? Is there uneven ground that you must consider? Is there exposure to weather that you must consider? In particular for outside haystacks, high and stable ground is a must. This assists in water dispersion and will help keep the integrity of your bottom bales. All of these considerations will help ensure the integrity of the stack remains safe and stable for the short or long-term storage. In this video, we're showing you the safest way to stack hay bales, that is, bricked and stepped. This technique can be used anywhere bales are stacked. As you can see in this stack, the bottom three bales are aligned, and the top three bales are establishing a brick-type crossover. Think about it like Lego. The higher you go, the more stability you need. As the height increases in any stack, this technique can provide excellent stability. Stepping a stack increases the safety on the exposed fascia ends. This technique can help prevent bales from falling forward from a considerable height and add stability to the most dangerous end of the stack. If you choose not to step your haystack, the other option is to create a fall exclusion zone. If you have unstable or soft bales to deal with, it is recommended that they go on the top of your stack or be set aside. These bales, if placed in the bottom section of your stack, can weaken the integrity of the entire stack, making for a very dangerous and unsafe stack. In this particular example, we are only showing six bales high. However, many storage areas do go higher, therefore continuing to increase the risk of a stack failing. Once the hay has been completely unloaded and all machinery has stopped operating, this is the safest time to roll up the straps. It's also important to sweep off the hay trailer removing all of the leftover hay debris before the truck departs. If the trailer is not swept off, it becomes a road safety risk. At this point, the truck driver will also receive final communication from the receiver of the hay. The truck driver can now follow the departure instructions. This could include directions, weighing out, or signing out of the property. There are many elements and moving parts when it comes to receiving, unloading and the storage of hay. We hope that this video has either reminded you of some of those items or maybe something you didn't know altogether. We should all be committed to hay safety. Every place and situation is different and we now encourage you to have a discussion with your team and family about hay safety at your place. Thank you for watching and please stay safe.